Shot clock is off. Angel Reese has four Liberty players around her. Damn. I'm sorry. You know, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, man, they hating on her. They hating on her or whatever. You know, you, you either love Kayla Clark or love Angel Reese or hate Angel Reese or hate Kayla Clark. You can't just appreciate the gameplay. But I love this. I like this because it demonstrates that nothing is given in the league. Everything is earned. And when I say that, I'm saying that every single record Every single real record that AR, CC, and any other player sets, whether they're a rookie or they're, they're, they're established veteran like, like Asia Wilson and Breonna Stewart, every single record that's set is not because it was given. It's because they are some beasts and they earned it just like everybody else, man. So when you see Angel Reese breaking the record that lasted not only for rookies but for every player in the WNBA league history, you know, with double-doubles, and she said it with 15, that means that she earned it. So we need to celebrate that, but she's doing her thing. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and the Empress got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So I just came inside, you know, checking the mail and all that good stuff. You know, I uh, actually just got done watching the games, but I had to give y'all a brief recap because whoo, we have some stuff that that ended today, you know, in addition to the games. But let, before we get right to that, though, you know, we got to cover everything. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because <laughs> I try to cover all, all, not try, I cover all the, uh, all the wonderful women doing their thing in the WNBA, but those are the ones that get the least amount of views. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's what it is. So when people complain about, oh, the rookies get so much coverage, particularly the Caitlin Clark and Adrian Reese, well, it's because, you know, when you give other people they shine and they love, that people aren't really interested, man. It's just, it's just hey, the numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, let's get right to it, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you all a breakdown of all the sensational women, and, uh, you know, after we uh, after we also talk about Caitlin Clark and, and, and Adrian Reese and the rest of the cessation of rookies, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to do. we just going to mix it all in one video instead of making them separate. You know what I'm talking about? Because they're going to get their love. Or they're going to get they deserve their love. Oh. Let's get right, man. So, Asia Wilson went crazy, man. Asia Wilson dropped a whopping 33 points, 18 boards, and five freaking blocks, man. Damn. I'm sorry. Talk about a stat line. Come on now. Adrian Wilson's looking like a MVP, former MVP, champion, gold medalist, everything that she is. You know what I'm talking about? Everything that she won't be. You, you know what I'm talking about? Everything that she is and everything that you think she won't be and everything that she wants to be. You know what I'm talking about? She out there balling there. The Aces smoked the Atlanta Dream 84 to 70. So let's get it. Let's continue going, man. Also, earlier in the week, uh, was it uh, yesterday or Friday? Yeah. CC and the Fever take down the Mercury behind Kelsey Mitchell's team high of 28 points. You know what I'm talking about? And three double doubles from Melissa Smith, Aaliyah Boston, and Caitlin Clark, man. Now, that's a full team effort. You know, that's just, that's just going to be hard to beat. You know what I'm saying? And, and the Mercury weren't able to do it. You know, Kalia Copper and Sophie Cunningham, you know, they tried to fight back. Get him up. Let him get up. Let him get up. Let him get up. Like that, like that. But the fever was just too much for them, you know, uh, without, especially without their leader uh, and OG DT, Diana Taurasi, you know. Copper still dropped a massive game high, 36 points. She was going crazy. She couldn't be stopped. But the Mercury lose by by by, by a score of uh, 95 to 86, you know. So the Indiana Fever take down the Mercury again. You know, that's the second time playing. So, you know, on Thursday, you know, we're going to go back in time a little bit. Angel Reese, she had another double-double, man. 10 points, 10 rebounds. But... The, the Chicago Sky, Andrew Reese, they still lose to New York, to the New York Liberty, you know, where the former MVP, John Quill Jones, put up a nice double-double of her own, yeah. dropping 18 points and 13 boards, you know. And the New York Liberty, they're no slouch. Obviously, they're the number one team in the league, so so it's, it's not, it's not, there's no shame in that, you know. The New York Liberty, they 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 show their dominance, and they beat the, beat the Chicago Sky 91 to 76, you know, despite a game high coming from CC as well. <laughs> nah. Not Caitlin Clark. We talk about Kennedy Carter. Yeah, her initials are CC2. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, yeah, so let's fast forward to the game that we just saw today. Because it was wild, man. Something something uh, monumental happened, you know? Uh, the league best Liberty take on Chicago Sky again. So they got them in back-to-back -back games. But this time it's without their superstar, Brianna Stewart, you know? But they still had enough. They still had enough to beat the sky. Not only did they have enough to beat the sky, they also stopped Angel Reese's league setting record of double doubles at 15, man. Check out this last play. Shot clock is off. Angel Reese has four Liberty players around her. 
You know, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, man, they hating on her, they hating on her, or whatever. You know, you, you either love Kayla Clark or love Andrew Reese or hate Andrew Reese or hate Kayla Clark. You can't just appreciate the gameplay. But I love this. I like this because it demonstrates that nothing is given to the league. Everything is earned. And when I say that, I'm saying that every single record, every single real record that AR, CC, and any other player sets, whether they're a rookie or they're, they're, they're established veteran like, like Asia Wilson and Breonna Stewart, every single record that's set is not because it was given. It's because they are some beasts and they earned it just like everybody else, man. So when you see Angel Reese breaking the record that lasted not only for rookies but for every player in the WNBA league history, you know, with double-doubles, and she said it with 15, that means that she earned it. So we need to celebrate that, man. She's doing her thing. Shout out to Caitlin Clark, you know what I'm saying? They're both doing their thing. They're both sensational. All these women are doing their thing. Angel Reese, uh, 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 Asia Wilson, you know, Brianna Stewart, Sabrina Ionescu, you know, Caitlin Clark, Kalia Copper, all of them are doing their thing. I'm not going to name everybody, but yeah. So, um, you know, she still set the record with 15 consecutive double doubles and just stopped now. You know, the last person who had the record was 12. And guess who that was? What are the quotes? Candace Parker. You know what I'm saying? So that's a phenomenal feat. You know, Reese finished the game with a massive 16 boards, but she was only one bucket shy of, of her 16th consecutive double-double, and she had eight points. You saw that last that last play right there. They said, I'm not going. You're not, you're not, you're not going to extend this streak on us. You know what I'm talking about? So shout out to Liberty. But also Marina Mabry, she had a double-double of her own, you know, with 21 points and 12 assists. Sorry, 21 points and 12 rebounds. Excuse me. Um and, 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 and in addition to that, you know, some other people were balling as well, you know, but some other people were struggling too, you know, as, as Kennedy Carter, Carter, we mentioned earlier, she did, she didn't have the best offensive game, you know, but sometimes that happens, you have ups and downs, goals with the season. So with that being said, the Liberty, they win with a score of 81 to 67. And they did this without Stewie, which is impressive. But like I said, they still have other MVPs, another MVP, a former MVP, a Jacqueline Jones and Sabrina Ionescu, you know, the sniper, she went crazy. She contributed, uh, with, uh, with 28 points, you know what I'm saying? So she put forth a 28 point effort nearly. 30 points so ain't no shame in losing to the league best uh, uh new york liberty you know and they took that earlier in the week uh from connecticut sun because you know they're they've been battling all 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 season long for the number one and number two spot so shout out to the women man that's all i want to say man shout out to the women shout out to Angel reese you know even though i know she's probably a little disappointed that not only did her team lose but she also lost the streak but ain't no shame in that 15 15 double double strong that's 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 that's, that's history right there and shout out to kayla clark you know what i'm saying they all do what they think shout out to the fever for winning shout out to the uh, uh, Asia Wilson for still dominating the league, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to New York Liberty for winning as well, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Don't forget, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Till next time. Peace! Also, too, uh, 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 Indiana Fever plays tomorrow, too, so we go to to all the WNBA games tomorrow as well, man, so I'll catch y'all on the flip side. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.